Hello and welcome to UK Versus. Today we're going to be talking about a little combo for anyone who has ever been scared of Genkai's Guidance. That's right, Boogeyman of Actions. They, everyone is fearing when playing their kill attack. You sit there and go, I can kill them. As long as they don't have a Genkai Guidance, it's an absolute monstrous action to have to play around. There's an actual way to deal with this absolute monstrosity of a card. That is Genkai's Guidance. For those of you who are unaware, Genkai's Guidance is a 1 diff, 5 control, 3 low block with a first form that hardly ever gets used but you get to discard a card and then your rival discards a card and response, destroy 3 foundations, remove your opponent's attack, just gets yeeted from the game. That is a very solid ability. So what can happen is you're going to be on the verge of death, you've got, you're committed out, you've blocked as much as you can and you just drop the Genkai's and go on a 4, on a 5, if I pass this you don't kill me and because it's after the attack is played your opponent still needs to commit for it so they have to pay resources just to lose this attack games have been won and lost off the genkai's guidance check to stay alive so here's the question how do you stop Genkaizen? Well, there are a few ways to stop Genkaizen standard as is at the moment, but there is a very, very cool one coming out this week, and that is Tattered Costume. Tattered Costume is an asset within the Izuku Midori on the move challenge deck, and it is a two cost, five control, two mid block, unique asset. So it sits on your board, cannot be committed to pass checks, but it's very, also very hard to deal with. There's not many ways to destroy assets, especially being running standard. Although that may increase as BME gets a bit more powerful, but has the response sacrifice after your rival plays an ability on an action or keyword ability on an attack, cancel the ability and draw one card. So, this is also great for characters like Paul Phoenix, who loves to stun. It's a great way of stopping your opponent from EXing, from powerfuling, from just doing a lot of the stuff that they can do to kill you. But my head immediately went to Genkai's Guidance. Just being able to pop this off and go, yep, yeah, my attack gets to keep going through. Just having it sat there can force your opponent to go, you need to have two Genkai's. If you don't have two Genkai's, I'm going to win this battle. And even if you have two Genkai's, you're going down six foundations. I'm in a good position either way. But Tag Costume just keeps you alive, replaces itself from the stage, and just denies all these actions that can cause so much trouble but it is a one-time use you do sacrifice it, it just go to the discard and then your opponent gets to go well that's gone now i don't have to deal with that again unless they do let's look at attack on time battle for humanity and the lovely action strategic maneuver a zero cost two mid block four control with form remove choose one asset in your discard pile if the card's printed difficulty is two or less you may discard one card if you do build the chosen card otherwise add it to your hand so i play my attack my opponent genkai's it i use tag costume my opponent goes fine I'll just get the next one. And then you got strategic maneuver. Build back in tied costume. It removes. No progressive. I have had to discard a card, but luckily tied costume got me a card when I sacrificed it. And I then get to go. And they go, I can't get cards again. Uh that sucks. And just be able to go, yeah. Uh you don't get to break me. You don't get to genkize me. You don't get to stun me. Because I'm gonna pop my tied costume. And then as soon as it comes back around to my turn or on my next form, I'm gonna rebuild it. That is so unbelievably nasty. And just be able to to lock your opponent out of their defensive strategy is huge. You know, to basically go, yeah, cool. You may have Genkai's, you may have Breaker, but they're not touching me in my turn. You pop off Breaker, I got Titan Costume, I got Strategic Maneuver, bring back my Titan Costume, play my next attack, you got Breaker, I got Cool, I'll cancel again, play my next attack, and I've just got through my turn without having to mess about with my checks because this asset is so very powerful, and Strategic Maneuver lets me play it twice in a turn, or lets me play it, and then at the end of my turn, build it back in, going, cool, here's that threat again for you to have to deal i think this is so so very powerful and i think it is something that is going to be absolutely monstrous when someone pulls it off i know a couple of people already testing out this combination and i think this is an absolutely solid play because your opponent has no way to interact it outside of more action and more asset hate if your opponent commits it with vast hybrid commit cracking if your opponent destroys it or flips it with other asset hate you can always get it back by destroying it as a foundation or if it gets destroyed rebuild it with strategic maneuvers that's one of the beauties of this combo unless they can remove it which 
which I don't think there's asset removal at this point in time. Strategic maneuvers means that it's always going to be online in your turn and you just get to pop off. Ultimate irony will be popping off a tattered costumes to stop a breaker using strategic maneuver and getting stopped by your opponent's tattered costume. You get that mutually assured destruction when there's two tattered costumes down. But at that point, if everyone's playing tattered costume, then actions might not get to see as much play. It's one of the evolutions of the meta thing. I think if this can really pop off, this is going to be very solid and it's going to just show up going, yeah, Breaker, Genkai's, Evil versus Good, all these actions that people are relying on to further their goals, they just don't get to do anything. That was a dead card. You just discarded a card for nothing. My tight costume just read, discard a card or waste an ability. This can keep you alive. This can end a string from your opponent or can keep your string going. I think this is an absolutely solid card to get hold of it and I love the all on this. But the Izuku Midori on the move challenger decks do drop October 11th. They are very powerful cards and I think this is a very powerful challenger deck. Don't listen to Richard. Richard is a naysayer. I think these cards are going to be absolutely everywhere at the UK regionals. I wouldn't be surprised if Oceana have some people playing this as well. It's a very, very cool deck and if you're not set up to beat it, you're just going to lose to it and I'm very excited to see where this actually takes the meta because we're getting so many cards coming in now that's so solid that you know, I'm really excited to see where the meta evolves to and the fact that these cards are also fun I do love fun cards. Compet being competitive is great, but if you're not having fun, what's the point? And Izuka Midoriya is so much fun. What do you think of this combo? Is it a combo that had occurred to you? Have I spoiled the spice that you are going to be running at your local star championships or that you're going to be running at the regionals that you'll be attending? Or have you never thought about this before and you just now want to go and try it out and see if it works for yourself? And if you have any combos yourself that you would love me to cover or give my opinion on, do let me know. I will catch you all in the next one, my friends, and have a good one.